Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show here on YouTube, and it is time once again to talk trash. It has been a hot minute since I have had a video up, so sorry about that. Diligently trying to get the podcast up and running and get this book of mine completed. So you'll just have to be patient for a little bit more. These videos will continue to be somewhat sporadic. But just because we're not filming does not mean we're not using product like crazy women. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to start with candles. Um, this is a new brand of candle. Oh, I should mention I got my hair cut. You probably have noticed already. Um, I am channeling Steve Perry and Joan Jett circa 1983, and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, this, and speaking of loving, this candle is called Loving. I don't know if that's picking up in the camera there, but uh, it's a lovely pink candle with the word loving on the front and it smelled like, as I remind myself, tuberose and sandalwood. And these are from, that's the box that came in, these are from Bella Freud. Um, and I love Bella Freud sweaters, but of course they would never fit me. So um, I thought, you know what, I can't wear her sweaters, but I can burn her candles. Got a Jo Malone candle that we used up. This is lime, basil, and mandarin, which is lovely for this time of the year. Jo Malone this time of the year period. I just like I absolutely love her. Um, this was a big fail. You know that I absolutely love the Philosophy bath and shower gels. I guess they're called the what are they called? 3-in-1 shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I only ever use these as shower gels. This one was supposed to be not the Pitts cherry cola. It smelled like um, cherry flavored cough medicine. You know how like they try to make cough medicine be cherry but it really just tastes like this weird chemical and that's what this smelled like that tastes. Um, so I would never do that particular smell again. Very icky. I've got some hand, uh, hand washes. Again we're using up all of our stock so this is out of season but we don't care we're using it. This is iced blue sage from Bath and Body Works. And this is Snow Kissed Citrus from Bath and Body Works. And then do you recall that I told you I was using the Molten Brown London hand wash? This took months. It is in uh, black peppercorn. It is seriously, literally like one milliliter of product comes out in a tiny little blob and you can wash your hands with it. So it took me forever to use this up. I am going to tell you right now, you're going to hear a bit of noise because I have to put the air conditioning on because my whole face is sweating off right now. So sorry about that background noise, but the choice is air con or me passing out. Body butter for you. This is the Daily Smooth by Soap and Glory. I haven't really met a Soap and Glory product that I don't absolutely love. If you have super dry body skin, this one is really, really great. It's very emollient. If you're someone who doesn't like that thick feel of body cream, you might not like it. Denise's fave! Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. This is the Heals and Softens 24 Hour Moisture. She loves this so much, I now am on subscription with Amazon for this. They just like send a bottle of this every month, so it's, it's for sure a keeper. This is the Shea Shower Cream. So the Body Shop has shower gels, but then they have shower creams that if you have dry skin are supposed to be a bit better. I have to tell you, this is cueing a very sad story for me. If you are a long time viewer, you know that the Body Shop is my jam. I worked there when I was 20 um, and there are certain products that I have been using for 30 years. Every summer, <clears throat> excuse me, for me what marks the beginning of summer is it's time for the Body Shop Cocoa Butter Body Lotion and Peppermint Foot Lotion. Like that is just, that is summer for me. On the rare like Friday night, I'll add to that white musk perfume. I usually have, I like expensive perfume. That is the one inexpensive perfume I will never be without because that smell instantly makes me 20 again. So, you know, May hits, I go on the Body Shop's website to order my cocoa butter. It's gone. It is, at least when I worked there, it was the most popular, best-selling body lotion. It was one of like the the flagship products and I was I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it I I thankfully searched my stash I had one bottle left which I am using right now like so sparingly and so sadly and then I came to the bottom of my peppermint foot lotion that too was gone now they have one that is similar except it's blue peppermint foot lotion has always been pink that's their thing they do have it in the pot but like the bottle like this with the blue label and I don't know, you know, I feel like 
a neat erotic I, I feel sometimes like I am a neat erotics like soul representative on the earth now that she's gone and I just really worry about what Cosmere is doing with that company but anyway I digress this is a lovely shower gel um, I don't always keep boxes but sometimes I do when the boxes are this dang beautiful this is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc body oil. So I am rocking this smell along with Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess this summer. So when I unpackaged it, I just thought I would show you the box. I mean, his stuff is expensive, but right to the packaging, it's just so gorgeous. In fact, my face is almost entirely Tom Ford today. My little dry baby Denise has used up some of her face products. This is the Clinique Smart SPF 15 Day Cream and Clinique Moisture Surge. A couple of products she has loved, but I think we have found a combination now that is going to negate the need for either one of these. So this was a bit of a YouTube sensation uh, over the last couple of months. It's the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Age Prevention Cleanser. It smells wonderful. I love that it's a glass bottle, although it does make me nervous in the shower, which is where I used it. Um, here's my confusion. It's, it's by Youth to the People. It's called Age Prevention Cleanser, but it's a foaming gel cleanser. And to me, even when you have oily skin, like once you hit 40, you shouldn't be foaming up on your face anymore. You should be using cream cleansers. So I just find it interesting that they call it an age prevention cleanser. I think had I been 25, I would have loved this and bought it again. Um, at 49, I used it up. I will not buy it again. Found it a bit drying. Another little candle. This is a travel candle we had on the road with us. Champagne toast. I continue to buy the Bath and Body Works travel candles because they're the only ones I can find this small. But they suck. They suck as bad as their big candles. If any of you know, so here's my hand. Here's the size of the candle. If you know of anywhere a gal can get a candle this small to travel with, I mean, you can get those votives, but they're kind of big for the toiletries kit. This is just like the perfect size. It's just too bad that Bath & Body Works, for some reason, four years ago, lost their mind and forgot how to make candles right. I used up one of my face SPFs. This is the Clarence Paris UV 50 uh, Multi-Protection Large Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen. Say that fast. It's a nice sunscreen. It's not my favorite one for the face but it certainly does the trick. For my travel kit, a Jergens Shea Butter Body Lotion. Sometimes you just gotta go back to those things from when you were 15, and Jergens Lotion for me is one of them. This might be one of my favorite body oils of all time, but I have just recently discovered that I haven't been using it the way they intended. Um, I use it as body oil. I take my shower, I come out, I massage it all over me, I get dressed, I go on with my day. I, I can't even remember what prompted me to look at the instructions, but it says to apply to damp body skin, preferably in the morning, and then follow with a cool shower. So I, I feel a little silly. This is probably the, I don't know, third maybe bottle of this I've used, and I have always used it as just rub it in like moisturizer. I mean, it's technically called tonic body treatment, but it certainly never dawned on me to, I don't even understand. So you get in the shower, you get wet, you put it on you, and then you put a cold shower on you. I will try it with the next bottle. I'll try that once, but I suspect I'm going to go back to the way I always use it, which is just as a moisturizer that smells freaking fantastic. Did you know about that? Let me know if you did. Here's another piece of packaging. like. <laughs> How could I not show you this? So Glam Glow, you know I have like a kind of a love-hate thing with Glam Glow. They have a couple of products that I just hate so bad and then a couple of products that I just love. They came out with a mask that glitters. It's a peel-off mask, which isn't my favorite, but it glitters and they have it in three colors. Pink with glitter, purple with glitter, or black with glitter. It's all the same formula, it's just preference of color. I had to do it and I had to show you the packaging because there's a, I guess it's a mermaid kind of pink glitter firming peel off mask. They don't say who she is. Oh, it's My Little Pony. So there you go, all the My Little Pony. And it came with My Little Pony stickers. 
So I'm gonna try it. I will put up an Instagram picture when it's on my face so that you can see if you actually see the glitter and then I'll let you know when I think about it but I just thought you should definitely see the packaging. And one of Denise's favorites, the Maracuja Neck Treatment by Tarte. She just uses this over and over and over again so you will always see this in the empties. She loves it. Oh my god, these are one of those things from uh, Sephora that are way too expensive but way too amazing not to buy anyway. It's by Sol de Janeiro, I'm never sure if I'm saying that right, Sol de Janeiro, um, born in Brazil. It's the Boom Boom Cream, but in it's actually technically not, it's the makers of the Boom Boom Cream. This one is the Acai Body Power Cream infused with the legendary wonders of acai oil. It's comically on the website says like that this is the cream to use after you work out. I don't know about that. I'm not a workout girl, but I can tell you that it was incredibly, um, it smells great and it was incredibly emollient, so I loved it. You know, this is one of my favorites. This is the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Oil uh, or Cleansing Balm. It is the last one that I had in my stash, so it's the last one I'll ever have to deal with this bad packaging. They have reformulated the covers because these covers always broke. You can see all the leakage there. Um, but it is still by far my favorite cleansing balm on the market. I'm just shopping my stash, however, I won't be buying any new cleansing balm until I'm out of what I've got. This is the end of a body glitter. I don't know if, ooh, a little bit even still left in it. If you know this about me, but I put glitter on my body every night before bed because I love in the morning flicking the blankets back and like glitter coming off me. It just, no matter what the weather is, no matter what you feel like, it's hard to wake up in a bad mood if you glitter. So I have a bunch of little things by the bed that glitter. I have to say this one was not Denise's favorite, was not the dog's favorite because it's really fine. See, even though I've got it empty, look, can you still see it? And it would get all in the air and they would breathe it and then the dogs would get coated in it. So it's from the body shop. It was called their Sparkler All Over Shimmer. It's kind of like um, the Torina Tarantino ones, but the Torina Tarantino ones are much better. I love these. This is the Pixie for Car Carolyn Hirons for Pixie Double Cleanse. Now, I want, remember I showed you the Tarte face mask and I said what a gimmick I thought it was because the, the packaging is exactly like this, but the mask itself only like came down to here and the bottom was just all packaging. This had to be manufactured in the same place because it is the exact same packaging, except this is deep. This is full. This is what it looks like. You get product to the bottom. Unlike the Tarte one that give you that false bottom. I just feel like Tarte is a, a company that I've supported for a long time. I love so many of their products and I felt so cheated like bamboozled by that false bottom container and the fact that the crap in it didn't do a dang thing so it wasn't like like carolyn hiron sometimes says packaging's horrible juice is lovely the juice sucked and the packaging sucked unlike this little beauty so you get this it's her double cleanse on one side it's a solid cleansing oil the other side it's a cleansing cream so you do the hot cloth removal of your makeup and then go in with the cleansing cream to make sure that everything is off and i just love it um pixie very popular popular product i'm not a person who uses a lot of pixie but i watch carolyn hirons religiously here on youtube so when she came up with this i had to give it a try liked it so much bought another one I mentioned Denise has a new face routine. This is part of it. This is a cult product. People have used this religiously for years. It is the Dr. Hauschka Rose Day Cream. I have always wanted to use it, but my skin isn't dry enough for it. I'm thrilled to say they have come out with a Rose Day Cream Light. So I am gonna try that at some point. But I just, all of a sudden it dawned on me, we we're trying to work out Denise's skin issue. You know, she's very dry. And all of a sudden I said, wait a minute. Rose Day Cream. People swear by that. She loves it. And it makes, I have to say, when she puts it on, she's standing right there. That's why I'm looking at her. When she puts it on, her skin looks like she has got some kind of a luminous primer on. Except, you know, she doesn't wear makeup. She just looks like that naturally. Uh, but this really pumps her skin up. This came in one of my advent calendars. I've never even heard of the brand. It's Dr. Botanicals. And it was called the Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil this was amazing it the, the oil itself was a very very like it was see-through but it had a little tinge of pink in it i think there's a tiny little bit so you know an oil is is oily it's like a, a thick oily substance 
if you see this tiny little drop you see how that comes out like it's it's like essence it's almost like an essence so you i thought well this isn't going to work it's not going to do anything but but it is it it has an oily consistency except that when you put it on i wore it before bed it just drinks in but it instantly plumps your skin i am i am like i don't know where i got it i know it was in one of the advent calendars but i am going to search online for it moroccan rose superfood facial oil i have to say for me my favorite facial oil i have ever used and it just came to me in an advent calendar the benefits of getting those advent calendars if you actually use the stuff because I assumed everybody uses their advent calendar stuff, but you leave me messages all the time saying, oh, it's so cool that you use the stuff in your advent calendar. Why would you get an advent calendar if you're not gonna actually use it? Um, so yeah, I, this for me is the benefit of them because I get to try things that like I would have, look how plain that packaging is. Let's face it, compared to My Little Pony in a glittery pink box, you know, the chances of me picking that when I'm shopping online are pretty thin if I haven't heard about it before, but because it came in the advent calendar, I will now be looking to buy that in full size. These have become a staple in our house. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. You know that we had the cloud ones. I currently have the gold ones. Denise fell in love with these. They're kind of cool because they're actually green. And it's a whole, it's so economy efficient because there are 60 pairs in this jar and you pay, I think like 60 bucks for it. So you're technically paying like a dollar a set which when you buy individually packaged eye patches, it's anywhere from $5 to $20 a set. Um, and when you put these on, we've been wearing them in the morning. Like we get up in the morning and either to do the morning pages or read the morning paper or whatever, drink coffee, you put them on. And as soon as you put them on, there's this cooling feeling on your eyes and it, it kind of helps the bags suck back in. So I, I have to say, Peter Thomas Roth has a lot of like home run over the fence products, add this one to the list. If you haven't tried these, get on it. Uh, so this would be an example of not a favorite face oil. This is the Bosha uh, Tsubaki, Tsubaki Beauty Oil. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It came in an advent calendar. Is all right. This is a fresh uh, face mask, the Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Face Mask, Seaweed Radiance Facial. It was okay. It is a gritty facial that you massage um, bits on and then you're trying to rinse it off. When I had a bathtub, oh, when I had a bathtub, please, do you live in the Toronto area and you have a bathtub? Invite me over for a bath. Seriously, I'll bring my own Mr. Bubble. Um, I miss baths. Baths are where I used to do my mask and back then I didn't care what the consistency of a mask was because I was for sure going to be able to get it off in the bath. My hair was going to be wet the whole bit. Now I do masks at my bathroom sink at night. So when it has a bunch of bits like this, it drives me batty because it seems like no matter how long I rinse, I get into my room and I start putting my night cream on and I feel I, I'm like, oh, there's some of the bits in my hair or oh, there's some of my eyebrows or I, I miss some on my neck. So. If you're a gal who can do a mask in a bath, I think you would love it. I did love the action of it. I can't use it right now because over the sink thing limits me to masks without bits like this. This was a, it's the vitamin C, the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Micro, Microdermabrasion. It's, there's no microdermabrasion. This is like a fine version of like St. Ives Walnut Scrub. Do you know what I mean? They're saying there's vitamin E in that. I'd like to know how much actual vitamin E is in it. it and it's, not, it's a very fine scrub, so... Eh. We used one of our little sleeping masks from the body shop. Denise and I always split one of these because there's so much in them. This one is the pearl sleeping mask, which is for perfecting and brightening. I love these. They're great when you travel too, because they travel so easy. Oh boy, here's a new product that I'm loving. Bought it in full size already. It's the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. So it's this glorious pink paste, I guess I would call it. Um, and it comes with a little pink scooper to scoop out and you put it on your lips before bed and you wake up with baby soft lips. For me, I would say right now that is in the same league as the Agave Lip Mask by Bite Beauty. So 
if you haven't tried it check it out and i'll show you a bunch of these things that we went through i'll just quickly tell you what they all are because you, you know the scoop with these these are all sheet type masks some of this is the new packaging from sephora this is the aloe vera the lotus the avocado the almond foot mask one of those before mentioned super expensive estee lauder stress relief eye mask this is the ula hendrickson you know it's the three-part um face mask this is in the power break version this is the new packaging of the aloe vera face mask two of the lavender foot masks one of the coconut hair sleeping masks and finally with mask goop all over it so i'm not going to touch it shiseido cottons my favorite this was the fresh vanilla lemon i like these but since i found the tart underarm deodorant i really enjoy it i think it's smoother it goes on easier so once i use up all my la vanilla i'm not sure i will come back to this uh i'll tell you another one i've just been trying lately that i'm really liking is dr hoshka has an actual roll-on natural deodorant and i I'm, I'm liking it quite a bit so we'll see what happens with that uh, these were the sucky brightening hydrogel eye masks uh, by Bosha. these are really nice you know you see these a lot because anytime they're available on sephora i buy them up so i can travel with them it's the ula henriksen three little wonders it gives you seven days of your morning and your night treatment so when you're on the road it's all in blister packs it's perfect two of the well caps you know that i love these for my phone my computer and my eyeglasses the standard in every single empty is my wet ones these are the ones that i use in the makeup room and the little envelopey ones i use when i travel and speaking of the sadness this is the end of my peppermint foot lotion um cooling foot lotion from the body shop the pink the original pink I don't know if they will bring it back. I have bought one of the blue ones. I will let you know if I feel like it's the same formulation. It smells the same, but I haven't used it yet. Right now I'm using the pink one that's in the pot, the butter, which is still available. Now I mentioned to you how much I love a good scalp treatment. I have eczema, and in fact my doctor is thinking it might actually be psoriasis, which is kind of a bummer. And it only shows itself in my eyebrows, sometimes on my eyelids, and right here on my head. Um, so I like to treat my scalp as much as possible. This is a scalp treatment that I really love from Sephora. Sorry, our dog Pearl has had an operation two days ago, three days ago. She's wearing a big cone, which is making Bruiser even more skitsy than he is. So he is just walking constantly. So again, you'll, I, you know what it's like. My Empties videos always has the sound of Bruiser tick, tick, ticking around. Those of you who have kids, you know what it's like. But you can't let you what are you gonna do you can't tie them down this is briogeo scalp revival charcoal charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo like can you just come up with three words to name a thing anyway it, it's a paste that's like this gross dark sludgy gray with all kinds of grit in it you wet your hair you massage it into the scalp and you, you can really feel it. It almost feels like your scalp is chewing spearmint gum. Do you know what I mean? It's like super fresh feeling. And then once you've given your scalp a good massage, you put more water and it bubbles up and you wash your hair with it. And it rinses out really clean. No little bits left. Remember I told you about that one where I was like picking little balls out of my hair after? This one just rinses out beautifully. Not my favorite though. The Kristoff Robin um sea salt i think it's called that's my favorite but this one is really good oh some stinkies as denise calls them this is denise's tom ford oud wood <sighs> she smells wonderful in this and you know generally denise is like a one perfume kind of gal so the summer it's amazing grace by philosophy the winter it had become tom ford but we went through my perfume collection to see oops to see if there was anything i wanted to give away and we were smelling them and there were a number of them that when we smelled them, she said, that smells like me. That doesn't smell like you. So I had bought Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, and she's absolutely right. That is more of a Denise smell than a candy smell. So she took that. Of course, it smells fantastic on her. And then she also uh, absconded the Jo Malone something oud. It's the... It's the... Mellow Rose Oud. Thank you. It's the Jo Malone in the black bottles, and they're all a form of oud, which of course oud is a scent that smells great on her. This one is the Velvet Rose Oud. I love rose smells, so I thought I would get it for me, but it's true when we smelled it, it smelled great on her. So she took that as well. And also, 
Elizabeth and James Bourbon smells wonderful on Denise. So she's not going to be going through the oud wood quite as fast because now she has a variety of things to use up. But you'll definitely always see this at some point in the collection. And once again, I, I keep the Tom Ford packaging to show you in empties just because like it's so extravagant. I feel like I feel bad to just throw it out. So that's the box for the Soleil Blanc perfume that I'm wearing this summer. That's the box for the Tobacco Vanille that Denise just started using. And this is for her Oud Wood um, Eau de Parfum. This was a Valentino Mini. And I got it so long ago from Sephora. I don't know which Valentino it is. The only reason I know it's Valentino is because this is his bottle. Like he has so many different scents in this bottle. But I don't know which scent this was. But it smelled nice. If you know which one it is, by all means, let me know. We went through three wall plugs. This is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and Honeysuckle and Freesia, and Winter. Anytime we have something with Freesia, I always think about that part in The Devil Wears Prado when she's like, if I smell Freesia. I personally love the smell of Freesia. Denise used up one of her shampoo and conditioner combos. This is the Verb Volume Conditioning Weightless Lift and Soften. She loves these. I've already bought her um, refill. I went through these and this is Fakai. I love Fakai hair products. This is the Essential Shea Shampoo and Conditioner Smooths and Defrizzes. Um, if you have super dry, super coarse hair, like you would love this. In fact, I had big one liter jugs of this before I gave to my niece Vicky, who's got really coarse hair. My hair is super, super fine. So this weighed it down, like I would wash and condition my hair. Yeah, it smelt, it felt super soft, but like by noon on the day that I washed it, it would be like grease to here. So just too heavy, too much for my hair, but a beautiful product if you have super coarse hair. I also came to the end of this super expensive Orbe product. His products are expensive, but they are worth it. This is the Apre Beach Wave and Shine Spray. So you know you see the black can of this all the time, the dry texturizing spray. This, I don't know if you can tell, is actually purple with the gold hair strands on it. The idea of this one, you spray it on your hair like here down. So it leaves a shine, it gives some texture, but if you put it on the roots, it will make your, your roots kind of greasy. So how I always use this is I will put the dry texture spray all up in the roots and I put this kind of on the ends. Almost like, you know how Dry Bar has the dry shampoo and then the dry conditioner? I kind of use these in that same way. Got a few products here. You know, this is no stranger to my empties. It's my favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is the actual conditioner. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Conditioner by Alterna. I love it. This works. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day In Shower Styler. All I'm saying is I don't have the time in the shower for this extra step. So you wash, rinse, condition, rinse, then put this on. You're supposed to let it sit for three to five minutes and then rinse. There's a shortage of water in the world. I don't think we should all be standing in the shower just letting it run and run and run. How I do my thing, I jump in the shower, I wash my face straight off, then I get my hair shampooed up, I rinse the hair, I put the conditioner in. While the conditioner is sitting on my head, I wash my body. Then I rinse hair and body and I get out. I am not going to then put this in and just let that water run on me for three to five minutes before I get out. Like, so I, I just, I don't like products that encourage people to waste more water than they should. It drives me nuts when I see YouTubers doing their morning routine videos where they put the shower on and then go fix breakfast before they actually get into it. My first hit of shower is ice cold. I do not pre-run. I feel like maybe a couple of generations after us, people would still like to use water. Who knows? Um, use these up. Love them. This is the Living Proof Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, love Living Proof product. Used a couple of little Prevage samples. Oh man, I love Prevage by Elizabeth Arden. This is the Anti-Aging Daily Serum, which is a very expensive serum, but I do really enjoy it. And then the City Smart Broad Spectrum SPF. That's my favorite uh, face SPF for under makeup. Used up some nail stuff. Got this big giant bottle of the Zoya 3-in-1 Remove Plus Polish Remover. So you know how they have that great pump? Um, I buy a pump about once every two or three years and then I just keep buying these from Nail Polish Canada and I dump them into the pump. Much cheaper that way. I'm letting go of this Essie, um, I guess what are these called? I can't remember what they're called. You know they're like the glass sort of 
uh, nail files. I got this I don't know, a thousand years ago when they first came out. It was super expensive at the time, um, and I never liked the way it worked. I just I have a diamond hard nail. Uh, file that I use and I swear by it and that will last me till I die you just every so often you can wash them They never lose their grit uh, This is just frustrating. And I used up a bunch of Incocos not as many as usual, but quite a few um, And you can go to my Instagram to see what those look like. I got a shock I went online and you can no longer buy Incoco online and Denise has looked for them at Walmart here in Canada don't know where Canadians can now buy in Cocos. You know I've sworn by them for like six years uh, and I just don't know where to buy them now. I've got three mascaras that I have used up. This is the Max Factor Masterpiece Max. Uh, Lisa Eldridge talked about this. I have to say I didn't go crazy about it. Max Factor in the UK is like the equivalent to CoverGirl in uh, North America. So it was it was alright but it wasn't you know super fabulous. This again another Max Factor false lash effect. You can see that it's the same company because it's shaped exactly the same as the CoverGirl um, mascaras are shaped. And I like CoverGirl mascaras, I just don't love them. This is one of those ones with the really big fat fat wands and again it was respectable but it wasn't like a Knit Cosmetics or a Monsieur Big or a better than sex. Do you know what I mean? Like it didn't, it just, it was a nice conservative mascara. This I would say the same about this was a little sample from MAC. It's the In Extreme Dimension Lash. One looks like that. And it was all right. Like their false effect I think is a pretty good one. But this was meh. Three lip balm products to show you. I used up this um, hibiscus Tinted Moisturizer by Burt's Bees. These came out a few years ago. I'm not even sure if they still make them. I enjoyed it. This summer, right now, I've got um, the NARS Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella de Vil on. I think it's, actually, I think it might be just called Cruella. Um, but I have all summer been wearing exclusively tinted balms, not lipsticks. I only put a lipstick on today because the camera washes me out, so I wanted a little bit more color, but I am so into the tinted balms right now, and I've got a whole bunch of different ones I'm using. I'm thinking I should do a video showing you which tinted balms I'm using and loving. Uh, let me know in the uh, comments or give me a thumbs up if that's something you're into. Uh, I got this at some conference I spoke at. Uh, oh yeah, Rainbow Health Ontario conference, and it was kind of neat to have in a conference bag a lip balm, and it was a pretty nice lip balm. This is, you know, those Tarte bombs that came out last summer. I'm not sure if they still have them. Look at the packaging. It's like seafoam turquoise with gold seahorses on it. I love all that oceany beach themed packaging that Tarte comes out with. Me on a no-buy, although I fell off the no-buy wagon April, May, back on, um, when the sale came at Sephora. That every time, that seems to knock me off my off my course but getting back on the highway um, but anyway this I got last summer and I used it all up this was one of the clear ones I have a bunch of them with color this was just a clear balm that made your lips feel really really moist and really fresh but you could not wear it under lipstick because very slippery very shiny but I just loved wearing it to bed what I was gonna say about the new Tarte stuff this year is you know they came out with those round a bunch of those round palettes and I've given all my round palettes away I'm trying to pare down they have one this year that looks like a seashell and when you open it all the little palettes instead of being square are shaped like little seashells like so cute but really I got no space for that I did however buy one of you asked me on Instagram the 10 year anniversary uh, eye palette from Kat Von D with the, with the lipstick in that gold tubing and the tattoo liner in the gold packaging. I, I use the tattoo liner all the time, so that to me is a regular purchase and I didn't want to miss that really pretty packaging. Um, thank you to those of you who gave me the heads up on the train cases. I don't know if they sold before they were ever available or what, but as soon as one of you said, hey look, train cases, I started looking, trying to see if I could get one, and no. Like the day they went up on Sephora online, it was like unavailable. So I don't, I don't know. I know she only made a limited amount of them. 
I came to the bottom of this. This is a great brow product from Benefit. It's the 24 hour brow setter and it's just a really great clear brow gel but the brush is what I think really makes it. One side has got short bristles and one side has got long bristles. One is for actually combing them in, into place and the other for just smoothing them out. Um, it's a great product. I've got some other things I'm using right now but I do enjoy that. Got this as a sample from Sephora. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Power Serum Potency. Really nice vitamin C serum but for me does not surpass Ula Henriksen's Truth Serum. Use this up on the road. It's a really nice size sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is a foundation I love when I'm going to be on camera because it sort of blurs when you're being shot in HD. Um, and I love when I can get my hands on samples like this because the packaging for this in reality is huge, right? So when I travel, it is so much better to be able to just have that in my makeup bag than the big bottle. Plus the big bottles, they sometimes, you know, the cap will come off, it gets messy. I just really love this. Used up another one of these. These are the little samples that I get, but there, there's so much in them. It takes me forever to use them up. I'll never have to actually buy one of these because I constantly get the samples. And uh, they're usually in, like, in the 500 point perk. Anytime you see a Marc Jacobs 500 point perk, you get the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. It, it's a mechanical eye pencil. There's nothing left in it. It's black. It's lovely. It's not as dark as what I've got right now. That's the Too Faced eye pencil. There is no pencil on the planet as dark as that. But having said that, I do really enjoy these. And I think this is the third or fourth one of these I've used. Speaking of the tattoo liner, um, I think everybody on the planet who actually uses liquid liner loves this. It's the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Uh, Trooper Black, of course, is the color. I'm not wearing it today. Today I'm wearing the Tom Ford eyeliner, which I'm really loving as well. But Tom Ford's is way more expensive than Kat's. Um, this has still got lots of oomph in it. But eyeliners are like mascara. They get your little eye bugs on it. I don't throw them away as quickly as I throw mascara away, but I generally at six months I get rid of it and get a new one, which is the reason this is going. This is a great white liquid pen. It is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eye Pencil or Eye Pen. Look how beautiful that white is. I don't know if you can see it in this washed out light, but like when you want to accent around the eye with white, it's amazing. The only reason I haven't replaced this is Kat Von D came up with a white and unbelievably it's even richer white than this. So I picked it up and with summer coming, you'll probably see me do a couple of those retro 60s looks with the uh, kind of Sophia Loren look with the black liner and the white accent, accenting it. I love that. Anyway, that brings me to the end of this empties video. Uh, thanks so much always for staying to the end. You know how much I love talking trash. I am going to try to get a reading wrap up put up on the books that I've read over the last three months before we leave. Denise and I are heading out east for most of June. We've got a few gigs out there followed by some time with our family. We are going to bring the vlog camera. We probably won't post while we're out there, but we'll take some clips so that when we get back, we can sort of give you a flavor of what we did on the East Coast. Again, stay tuned. The podcast should be out within the next 30 to 35 days. Uh, Sweet Talk with Candy Palmiter. Look for it wherever you download your, your podcasts. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. See ya.